So as someone who has been a longtime fan of Cowboy Bebop, the real Cowboy Bebop, the one that matters, the one that still maintains a special place in our souls, and uh, it's, it's something that I fondly revisit. I've watched the series, the full 26 episodes, backwards and front, or forwards and backwards, dozens of times. I love the series. It's my all-time favorite anime, um, as well as the movie that came out with it, too. But that's it. Cowboy Bebop had 26 episodes, one full-length movie, and that's all it was meant to have. I'm going to try to keep myself tame and, and avoid any uh, excessive profanity. But... This, this Netflix adaptation of this, this show, of Cowboy Bebop, is a mockery. It is just not well done at all. And I was, I was thinking to myself, like, where, could, where did they go wrong? Well, I think the people who were playing the characters would have been just fine if they had actually captured who those characters were. Spike is not Spike, Jet is not Jet, Faye is not Faye. And Ed is really trying hard to be Ed. But, you know, it, 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 when you try to take all those, those, um, those fun and exciting and bombastic elements of an anime, and you try to transfer that into a, a real-life adaptation, it's so difficult and it's often not done properly at all. I'm going to be honest. At, <coughs> excuse me. The only... Um, anime adaptation I ever really enjoyed to any degree was Scarlett Johansson playing Matoko Kusanagi in Ghost in the Shell. I thought that was, I thought it was decent. Um, there were areas that could have uh, benefited from, from some improvement, but there's only so much you can ask for. It's a, they're, they're live anime, ad, they're, they're live action adaptations. You know, people who are hardcore fans um, of these series, of these movies that, that come out later on, they're not usually too pleased. And for good reason. One, because for some people, they're just snobs and they, they don't want a live action adaptation. They don't think it can be done. And Hollywood and movie studios are, are starting to prove that at a very rapid rate. You know, you would have figured that Dragon Ball Evolution would have been that nail in the coffin. It just got worse from there, didn't it? But... It's, it's just, it's just puzzling how, how, you know, you miss so hard, how there were so many people involved in making the show come to life, if, if they so see it that way. Like, how, how did it become this? How did it, how did it become that Julia was shooting Spike out of a, a, the cathedral window that him and Vicious engaged in their last battle? Kind of spoiled some shit right there. But listen, my big ask right here is for anyone who is <clears throat> looking or is interested in the Cowboy Bebop anime, I mean, I'm sorry, in the Netflix adaptation and has not yet seen the anime, please, I urge you direly to watch the anime first. Um, that's the best course of action. Because I don't know. I know that if you were to watch the Netflix adaptation, and then if you weren't so turned off at that point, went ahead and watched the anime, your palate would be cleansed. It, it, would, it would have a, very much a cleansing effect. And you'd be like, well, this is what I was supposed to be watching the whole time. It's, it's bizarre. It's, what, what does entertainment even become these days? Wild, wild. Um, watch the anime. Watch the anime. Avoid this garbage. This, I guess it could have had potential, but they, they, I realize I'm kind of all over the place right now. I'm just, I'm bustling with emotions about this. Because this is a show that means a lot to me. And I've, I, I, I've been able to take a lot from that show over the years. Uh, you know, throughout the iterations that I've watched it. The, other people have made this point too when they've talked about this series 
they, they tried to be too much like anime. You know, the, the flailing movements and the, and the, the over-the-top expressionism. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't, doesn't work. It comes off more like, a, you know, the, the, the depiction of Ed, it was... The energy was there. The, you know, the, the, the person playing Ed was trying. But it just doesn't work. It doesn't transfer that well. It's that that sort of um, those aspects. They should remain in the realm of anime. Now, if you ask me, like if you know, for a live action adaptation, you would want, uh, you know, Ed to have, uh, you know, you more of a. It's difficult to tiptoe around this, but. Radical Edward, you know, is more or less a um, high-functioning autistic individual. And it, they could have portrayed her more delicately as, like, um, not introverted, certainly extroverted. Ed is extremely extroverted, uh, approaches anyone and wants to make friends and be friends with anyone. But um, you know, I don't know. It's 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 tough. It's it's tough to even say what would work for a live action adaptation. Because I mean, this it, listen, Cowboy Bebop it was just it was an idea meant for anime. It was an idea meant for that format. That's why it was so legendary. That's why it was so well remembered and so well received. And that's why there is so much hardcore criticism and and. Let's face it, downright hatred toward this, this adaptation. It, it fell short. And for people who had never seen the anime and watched the show and enjoyed it, okay, that's fine. You can... Great, you enjoyed it. Now go watch the anime. Think about how much you're going to enjoy that. But that's the problem. I'm going to assume that a lot of the people who are watching Cowboy Bebop, reason being why it's why I saw that it was number one right now trending on Netflix. Uh, it's a lot of people just don't know uh, what the series is about and just saw it popped up. It's colorful. It's it, it, it looks like you're watching a comic book. Cool, let's put it on. A lot of these people aren't even into anime, so they might not even want to go and check out the... They look at it as just a cartoon, um, an unsophisticated cartoon. But there is... I didn't watch any full episode of the series, but there seems to be a, a lot of um, the elegance that was Cowboy Bebop, and it's just it doesn't it doesn't seem present there. Uh, what was great about Cowboy Bebop is all of its different cultural influences. The great, the next best thing about discovering Cowboy Bebop the anime is discovering Yoko Kano and the seatbelts. Those behind the musical composition for the album, and there's there's, uh, there's other artists scattered throughout the the, the albums there, and um, some of the most beautiful music I've ever listened to. A lot of it's instrumental, but it's it's just so great. It's just so um, a lot of it's very empowering. A lot of it's just iconic. These are sounds that I would wake up to at three in the morning because I left Cartoon Network on, and by that time it's Adult Swim. And the anime block is running. And Cowboy Bebop, Big O, and Yuyash, all those shows were on. And uh, you know, I was a huge Dragon Ball Z fan at the time. Uh, Cowboy Bebop sold that spot easily. Easily. But my main point is, please, I urge you to watch the anime. The anime is, is infinitely better than whatever, whatever that is. Whatever that other thing is. Uh, it's, it's wild. It's wild what um, people are willing to do to shows. It's just, it, it was just, looks like it was so recklessly made. Very little consideration for um, just, just like the style. You know, the cast, I don't even have issues with the cast, but they just didn't, they didn't portray the characters right. They didn't capture them. And not to mention the fucking writing. Jesus. God, it's fucking awful. I don't even want to watch it, dude. I'm going to have to pour boiling bleach into my eyes afterwards. I don't want to go through that. 
but thought I'd keep this short. Fuck me. Watch the anime. You won't be disappointed. And it might keep you away from that other silly shit. Take care.